welcome back it's time now for database migration open bazar api then db data source here we make synchronize true for this if we modify our entities it will automatic modify our database but in production this is not proper way to alter delete or create a table or modify a table or database so we need migration and migration type of migration why how this migration work migration actually create database schema that's open users then entities it's just a class type of migration help this class to create a javascript file like a database query and when this query is run into database it modify the database we will see it later clearly so close of user entity now open data source for migration we will we will looking for dist then under dist then db then migrations star then dot ts or dot js dot js and under db create a folder name it migrations for migrations we will looking for this table type rm create migrations in this file and run this migration from this file with any ts or js file actually it will be js file okay and synchronize make it false save it now open package.json file here we have to modify our script so here after test colon e2e e, type rm npm run build and npx type rm minus dash d dist db data source dot js that means this is the connection this is the connection data source for run this migration we will need this data source migration generate npm run type orm dash dash migration generate okay then migration run this command will generate or create a migration script and it will run the script npm run type orm then dash dash migration run i am going to write another two script that for reverting the migration and deleting the schemas one is migration revert that is 
npm run type rm dash dash migration revert another one is db drop then npm run type rm schema drop save this here is schema save this now open terminal we have to run this script here after dash dash migration generate please make a space and here run give it also a space okay and migration revert if it's not it has no space then give it a space then save it and we have created our table previously so i am going to drop this table and we will run our written script so i'm open my pg admin and here is users table what we previously created i am going to drop this okay it's now deleted and here we have to run our migration generate script first it will create a migration so npm run migration generate then dash d sorry dash dash db dash dash db then is migrations migrations and after migrations we have to name this migration name so it is our first migration we can name it initial okay then press and enter sorry the script i have run is not like this is after dash dash create a and keep this a space npm run migration generate and space dash dash space db migration initial what it will do it will create a migration file in this migrations folder so let's do this okay our migration has been successfully created in db migrations so open db folder here and you can see now this is our past migration with name after timestamp with initial.ts and if we look this file you can see it's a query runner dot query is actually a query it created and now we have to run this migration with type rm cli so open again terminal and now npm run migration then here is our migration run so migration run and now we don't have to specify the path it will automatically get the path sorry i have migration run is not this migration npm run migration is spelling mistake i have migration run okay enter okay you have seen that migration initial has been executed successfully this is a query that 
executed so open pg admin now refresh the table you have seen here is our users table and another one is migration that is it so we have learned how migration work with type in nsdjs okay